what's up? So I am sick, so please pardon me in the video you're about to see because I'm very, like, sick. I'm just getting over the flu. So, anyways, Bella Brie has a 10% off discount code for you guys, which is A Thomas. I'll put it below and right here so you guys can check that out. So if you want to go to the website and purchase some hair, so it's back to school. So shout out to Bella Brie for doing that for you all. It's only for my subscribers, so make sure throughout the video you look below because I didn't mention it because I recorded it last night. That you all check out the discount code A Thomas for 10% off your purchase, which ends January. I'm guessing the end of January because it lasts a month. So, the end of this month, it'll be over. So, make sure you take advantage of that and enjoy the video. Bye. Hey, y'all, what's up? So, I know it's been a minute since I recorded anything. I'm just getting over a cold. I've been sick for like three days now. It's not shocking because everybody ain't mama sick. Um, the owner of Bella Bree contacted me saying that her Bella dogs, which is her cu her customers, were requesting me to do a review on the hair. And I know that I'm getting a lot of people asking me, have you tried Bella Bree? Have you tried Bella Bree? I'm like, no, I never tried it. She never contacted me. I don't know anything. So I was very honored and thankful that she contacted me and let me review some of the hair. Um, you see it on Instagram. I posted a picture. I do apologize, but this is the true color of the hair i know on instagram it looks very orange but that's just when i take a picture in my mom's house i don't have no lighting so everything looks very very orange orange but it wasn't that that orange but it was definitely a bright color and i did use a toner and no the ends are not raggedy if the ends were raggedy i would have definitely said it but overall, this hair did amazingly. Like, I was even testing it because I was like, I don't think you can take all this chemical processing. So, um, I got, I think I got a 22, two 22s, a 20, and an 18. I think she sent me four bundles. I didn't use all of the, um, the shorter length. I didn't use all of it. I don't know where I put it. I think it's in my little wee bag. So, this is the color of the hair. This is how the hair came out. And this is why I ombre the hair off the wig. I mean, before I did the wig, because most people when they ombre their hair, they usually put the, they make their wig or put it in their hair first, and then they start bleaching. But I like to do it off the track because I know I layer my hair at the top. Y'all know how I layer the top. So when I ombre my hair off the off the track, I have, of course, highlights in the back. But those highlights act as the tips of that layer piece if i don't know if that makes sense i try to explain on instagram but i don't know if y'all understood i know it was kind of difficult but that's why i ombre off the track and it's okay to have those you know highlight pieces because you can see here it's like an ombre all the way through like it looks more natural to me you know it depends on how you want to do it like some people like to have it all black and at the tip is you know ombre i had it like that before but i just prefer it like this having like these little hints of color at the top because it just looks it just meshes better so this is how it came out. So you can see it's not that bright. And the ends are perfectly fine. They curled really well and everything like that. And let me show you the back. <clears throat> so that's how the back looks. So you can see how that color is popping. And you got, I'm trying my best to get in the camera, but you got those little highlights there. So that's what I was trying to do, like a fireball type ombre. So that's how the hair looks in the back. And this is the other side right here. And they're just loose curls. I really do love it so far. I'll give you a, a quick glimpse of what I did because it's going to be hard to explain. Um, I didn't do a tutorial. I know y'all like, nobody do tutorials no more on YouTube. They just tell you what you do. What kind of tutorial is that? Well, girl, I'm another one. I did not do a tutorial. Bleach it. Um, no, I didn't use a 20, a 40, and a 30. I used a 30. I used all 30 um, developer from Sally's. And I used the regular BW bleach. And I left the tip on for 10 minutes you know how you put your first layer so you know how you put your first layer for 10 minutes i put it on for 10 minutes then i went up for seven minutes and i went up for five minutes and then i did a little you know how you drizzle it so it could look you know messy at the top so that's what i did i just did it in increments i didn't have to use different type of um developers because it's 
waste of money. So you just do it in different increments, leave it on longer. If you're comfortable with bleach, then you can do that. But if you're scared, then I would probably suggest doing the two, three different developers. But I think it's just a waste of money. And um, after that, I did use a toner. I used the Wella's permanent liquid color this one's pretty good i used it before on somebody else and it's a t10 t10 is really good for if you have brassiness of orange and red and all that stuff so i did use the two the two ten on it and you only need one of these and you mix it with the 10 level developer so typically when you bleach your hair like if you do like a 40 or 50 i never worked with 50 before but i know people who has worked with 50 is like platinum blonde it will turn your hair literally yellow just like if you use a 30 or like a 20 it will turn your hair like a reddish because it's stripping all its natural essentials from the hair and it's showing like it's taking all the pigment out it's like pushing it out there so you're going to strip it all this natural color so what a toner does is basically tones it down and it gives it that more natural look but i didn't really want it too toned but i used the toner anyway because it was too orange but in the picture that is with the toner it just look how the picture looks so this is just like that picture on instagram it just looks like that on the camera but I did use a toner and I use a color corrector but I'm not really a fan of those because they really don't do much for me as, far as washing it I use the Hawaiian silky that she sent me and girl yes Bella Brie girl you was not lying this stuff is amazing and it's so funny because I used to use Hawaiian silky on my uh, synthetic half wigs yes and <laughs> they used to have this little stuff that make your hair wet and wavy I used to love Hawaiian silky so Hawaiian Silky has this argan oil. I've never seen it before. Well, I probably just looked over it. But this is really, really good. It works really well with her, with her hair. And the look I was going for, I wanted like a relaxed look. I didn't want nothing too shiny or wavy. Bleach the hair. I use all Ion products, color solution products. They're amazing. Anytime you put any type of color in your hair, you get it from Sally's. And I use the sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. So after I did my toner, I put this in it. This is Shimmer Lights. Um, my grandma uses this for her gray hair. And you just put it in your hair. It really gets ready to brassen this even more. So I used all this stuff. And I just left this on for like five minutes. It's shampoo. And then on my conditioner, I used her conditioner that she sent me. And I mixed it with some other stuff. I don't know. So after I blue dried out, I actually put in this Paul Mitchell Skinny Skin super skinny serum i'll put all this stuff at the bottom so everything i'm saying it works really well with the hair especially if you want to bleach it but it bleached perfectly no tangling i mean shedding has been phenomenal but i still my wells front and back just in general just in case i gotta deal with it for the most part thumbs up right now you know how i was gonna come back and tell you how it's doing but thumbs up definitely right now um so it's definitely worth the hype. It's really, really good quality. She has amazing customer service. And um, I'm going to do a more thorough one just right now. I have to do other stuff, so I can't really talk like I want to. So, but yeah, it's really, really nice hair. It's a very natural texture. Like, you can see it blends with my hair right. Now, at the top, I know you can probably see my track right here because I just freshened this part up. Because earlier today, I had on curly hair. So you can probably see that part, but it's going to you know calm down tomorrow blow drying and all the other stuff it's still nice and full and bouncy and it looks like a fireball so that's what the look i was going for the hair by bella brie and i absolutely love it so thank you on that and i'll keep you guys updated on any on everything else but this is what the hairstyle i had on instagram when i took those pictures it's the same hair so that's it you guys and i'll holler at y'all later